Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss about design and fashion, luxury and lifestyle, but in a more practical and sensible way. By the way, hope you do not mind the air conditioning. I hope it's not coming through too much and it might seem that I have some kind of wind machine over here, but we are living a very, very hot heat wave at the moment and our houses are not built for this type of weather here in the Nordics, it's more about keeping the cold out and heat in. So when it's also hot outside, it is super hot inside. All right, today I thought I would actually make a proper review video of my Chloe Woody sandals. And these are the strappy ones, uh, if I could call it that. So not the slide in versions. When I was looking at purchasing those sandals, I went on YouTube and Instagram and basically all the material was about the woody kind of slide in sandals that are, let's say, the most photogenic sandals of 2020 and 2021, I guess, uh, since they look really nice in photos. And there is a lot of content about those sandals. Um, but being me, I was kind of like, well, okay, I don't want to believe all the discussion about the uncomfort uh, before actually trying them on. So that wasn't the biggest thing for me. It was more that everyone had those specific ones in white or cream color or whatever it is. And they are stunning, so beautiful, but I want it to be a bit different. And those sandals have leather. So that was kind of, um, a persuasive factor for me and um, there isn't really actually that much material over those or then I'm just really bad at searching so I thought I would make my review video and hopefully it will help someone out there who is also contemplating on if these woody sandals are for them or if if these actually are a good purchase since they are a bit more expensive than the sliding ones but before we get started, it would mean the world to me if you would like this video, comment down below and definitely subscribe to my channel. I'm currently posting on a summer schedule, so a new video is up on every Thursday. Okay, so guys, these look used and the reason for that is I have been using them. I tried to wipe them <laughs> uh, before actually filming this and still the toe um, prints are on it so maybe let's take this as a truthful honest review since i have been wearing these let's just take one at a time because it's just easier to handle one shoe especially since they have been worn so i didn't want to make this review video before i actually had time to wear them and not only like once to the grocery store but actually wear them because for me a criteria for sandals are that I'm able to walk in them for the whole day. Like it is not unusual for me to walk 10 to 15 kilometers per day um, during the summertime because I just, I love walking and going to places by foot. So my shoes need to be comfortable for that. And now I have had many days time to wear these that way so basically walking over 10 kilometers a day for multiple days also day after another so if there has been some potential rubbing most likely you wouldn't wear the same shoes the next day so i have done those type of tests um and i wanted to film this video once i've actually properly used the sand but let's have a look first what it looks like. So please keep in mind that I have been using these and um, they might not be as clean anymore as they were when I unboxed them. <laughs> but basically this is that shoe. It has a leather strap that goes all around the shoe uh, and a section that goes between your toes. It has this same canvas material that the uh, slide-in woody sandals have, like all of the topping. is. It's the same canvas material and it just says Chloe, same way as the other versions do. 
um, and then it has a strap that goes behind your foot and adjustable uh, so depending on what type of uh, how long your foot is then that's kind of you can adjust it really really well explained adjustable strap there for let's move on um, the bottom of the shoe maybe you can hear it um, is quite hard and I was a bit concerned is it too hard to walk on there is thickness so it is not like when you walk in them the sole is not so thin that you actually feel everything on the ground there is like proper thickness on here and on the heel there is a small elevation which I think is good um, at least for for me and my old old feet um, it is always positive when there is a bit elevation on the heel, so it's kind of nicer for my back. And then under your heel, there is this soft, cushiony, chloe. Um, I don't even know what it is, but it is soft and you can press it. And I don't know if it's the real purpose of it, but I just it might be just to have the word chloe in it <laughs> somehow. Um, but it, it feels nice under your foot when you walk in them. So definitely a good thing. And then the sole. I have walked in them and let's not kind of zoom in too much. Um, but there was a word Chloe written there and then the size 42 as these are in the size 42. Now, the first days I wore these, the same goes with all new sandals that I have is that I have this kind of blister stick that is supposed to prevent them. So it kind of creates um, a surface between your skin and then the leather, for instance. So I use that every time I have new shoes, especially sandals, because I don't wear socks with them, just to, so that they won't start rubbing. Uh, because like new shoes, your feet are not used to it, etc. It's normal for them to be like some kind of rubbing like I don't take that as it's a bad shoe or anything so I used that for the first couple of times but to be honest I don't really think that that was necessary like at all because when I put these on and actually started walking there was no place that started rubbing like nothing not even this canvas part which apparently is the biggest issue with the sliding sandals but obviously there is a bit more of this canvas as it's the whole whole front part of the, the issue uh, but there was like no issues with these um corners of it like nothing it did absolutely nothing to my foot and then the other concern that i had was this part that goes between your toes uh nothing it's like the uh, leather part that goes between your toes, it is completely smooth from the backside. So from the side that rubs against your toe cleavage, is that a word? But basically that rubs between your kind of toes. So it is completely smooth. There is no corners or anything that would potentially irritate, in, in my opinion. And um, this leather that it has on here, it is so soft i was so surprised how comfortable these are and more how comfortable they are already in the beginning so i probably shouldn't be that surprised these did cost money uh but kind of still shoes are very subjective and how they feel on your foot is very subjective um, so it might not be like anything wrong with the quality of the shoe. It will just take some time to, for your feet to get used to the shoe and, and all of that. So I think like rubbing and a small irritation, that's okay for the first one or two times. And it doesn't make the shoe bad. Obviously, if it's like every time you get blisters, then that's an, another thing. Uh, but for these, like I was so shocked at actually how good they felt from the first day onwards. We could also quickly talk about the sizing. So I have a 42 in these, as I mentioned, I'm 
usually a 41 42 depends so much of the <laughs> shoe itself um my foot is 27 centimeters long and this 42 fits perfectly i definitely could not have the size 41 in these and the reason is this part that goes between your toes um because obviously if your your foot is too big to the shoe your heel is gonna come out from the back uh, because this will hinder your foot to go to the front so um, based on my experience uh, on Chloe my only pair of Chloe shoes so keep that in mind um, I would say size up do not size down at least in this model even though like I think this has quite a lot of give so if you have like a wider foot I think this is completely perfect for that because there is so much space here on the sides that your foot can come out if needed and it won't rub there um, but I would say the length here is is the thing because this will then hinder your foot to come to the front if they are too small for you so I would say like your normal size but if you are like let's say half size bigger than than something i would then go a full size more if i was able to make myself clear i i feel that i'm rambling a bit so in general would i recommend these they are quite trend led um at least for now but actually I would 100% recommend these. If you are okay with sandals that have um, this leather part that goes between your toes, these are so comfortable. You're able to walk in them. I have had no issues with my foot, with my back, with like nothing. They are so, so comfortable and I'm able to walk like just kilometers after kilometers wearing these. Um, I do personally, obviously, very, very subjective here. I do think these look stunning and the colorway, there are other colors of these as well, but especially this one, it goes with everything. Like seriously, what wouldn't work with cream, black and, and is this cognacy color, like light brown? Um, absolutely love them. And I might be not so objective with this opinion uh, because I own them but if I compare these to the other like the slide in versions that has so much of that Chloe written over it I do think that these are a bit more understated and that way a bit more classic like they have a bit more time they are not so tied to this logomania area where everything is so on your face and saying that the chloe logo is on your face so uh, maybe i'm just being a bit of a hypocrite here and i'm just hoping that these w were actually from the trendiness factor uh, a good purchase but like to be honest i don't care uh if they are trendy next summer or or however because i love them and if you love something you should not care either whether or not other people are gonna wear the same stuff later on all that matters is that you love them and you are gonna wear them in the future as well and then all the rest of the stuff is just irrelevant right so my final thoughts of these sandals if you didn't already kind of <laughs> get it from this video these were such a good purchase i would definitely recommend um i'm not that type of person who goes in and buys all the other colors from the same model so i'm not gonna say that that yeah i might buy this in black or something i probably would not because i love these just the way they are with this colorway and um like the comfort level yes with my feet Yours might be different, but 
I do feel kind of optimistic because of the feel of the leather that these would be comfortable for quite many people. That's just how I, how I feel it. Obviously, you need to make your own decisions and test them out and then don't come after me if yours are uncomfortable. But for me, these are working so well, like 100% would recommend. Um, and yeah, now I'm just gonna continue the summer and wear these. That was it, hope you found this informative if you were finding some trying to find some research out of those sandals or in general are just curious about shoes thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye